Um, so the front wheel, uh, very similar to the rear wheel. Uh, the only difference is you will have to loosen off the quick release just a little bit here. Um, so with the quick release, uh, like before, you're going to have to open it up. Um, brake, you're going to have to open up that as well if you do have a little bit bigger of a tire. Um, but what's going to happen is as soon as I open this up um, and I'm going to let the wheel drop, uh, one thing you're going to notice is it's not going to drop. Um, that's because there's little bit of tabs on the bottom of the fork here and that prevents your front wheel from falling off if you are going to apply the brake. So you can see those tabs there. Um, so we're just going to keep loosening off until you get past those tabs. Uh, what those guys look like is you can see these little, little bit of a notch there, a uh, little bit of a lip, um, fork tabs, drop out tabs, list goes on to what you can call these guys. Um, but that keeps your front wheel on so if you don't tighten this quick release enough, um, it's just to make sure you don't lose your front wheel when you brake. Um, so the thing is, um, as soon as you put it back in, obviously you're going to have to tighten that up. Because if you were to tighten this, obviously it wouldn't tighten. But at least those uh, tabs will keep the front wheel on. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the quick release, tighten up the other side until you get a little bit of tension there. So you can kind of see the quick release, maybe a little bit more. The quick release is starting to bite there so we're just going to make sure it's up, up in the dropouts all the way and then just tighten that quick release a little bit on the tight side so just loosen that off and then just you know one finger you know nothing too extreme and then just tighten that up and that's really all there is to it to the front wheel